Hey everybody, welcome back to another tying video. Tonight, we're gonna be learning how to tie the mop fly. It, the mop fly is my number one producer for stock trout. I absolutely love fishing it for them. It stands out. They're not the brightest crayons in the box. This is probably the brightest crayon in the box. And uh, yeah, it, uh, it catches fish. It just, for whatever reason, I have really good luck with it with stock trout. So I'm gonna get a hook in the vise. And let's tie one up. So I'm going to be using a size 12 saber hook. I'm going to get that in the vise upside down. And we're going to pair that with a 3.5 black nickel bead. Uh, the, the size of the hook and the bead don't really much matter. It's, this is just what I, I, I need. I don't have a lot of 3.5s. I have... Uh, some heavier and I have some lighter and uh, yeah, so we're just going to tie up what I need tonight. You can basically do any size that you want, especially if you're going after stock trout. So as you can tell, I have been tying these for a little while tonight before I decided to start filming and uh, super glue is going to be involved. Okay, now that we have that oriented, I'm going to be using 6 aught uni thread in black. It really doesn't matter the color of the thread. Um, I'm, I'm just not big on thread color always mattering unless you're doing like perdigons and stuff. I like to take this back just about to, just about to where the barb's about to start. Snip off our excess. The mops I'm using, I got from Lively Legs. You can also get car wash mitts. It, it doesn't really matter. Um, it, the preference is yours. If you want to have to use car wash mitts or if you want to take and buy mops specifically for fly fishing, they're basically the same thing. It really doesn't matter. But as you can see, that would make a giant mop, right? You can see that we make a really big mop. So what I like to do is I almost cut it in, man, almost in half, but I do it on an angle like this. And then you're left with a kind of a, like a ramp. So that's going to end up going onto the fly somewhat like that. I just need to trim off some hairs before we move to the next step. So, I'm going to take our thread forward, and then here comes the messy part, or can be messy. I'm going to put super glue all over the thread, and quite a good bit of it. Next, I'm going to take our mop, and I'm going to lay it on as carefully as possible. You do not want the super glue to get onto your fingers while you're touching the mop material because it shreds them. So just be careful with that. See, I, I just got some on my finger there, so. But this makes it really, really durable. And what I'll do is I'll just start you know, kind of tie down some of it to a certain point. And then I'm going to make a dubbing loop because we're going to add some legs to this. I'm going to take my dubbing loop twister mister. Get our bobbin off to the side here. And like with a lot of my flies, we're going to add some peacock black ice dub. You want quite a bit um, just to make it look a little nicer. I, I think it'll look a little nicer to have it pretty messy. I know that's counterintuitive, but it's just it's what I like. I like having those legs go all over the place. All right, so I'm going to twist this up. 
good and twisted. And then we're gonna start we're gonna start to wrap. Around and around we go. I'm gonna make sure that this last two wraps go in the front of my first two. And I'm going to start pulling these fibers back. I know they're all over the place right now. Just like that. It definitely makes it easier if your fingertips aren't covered in mop material because it just gets everywhere. Okay, so now I can snip, snip that off. And what I'm gonna do is just do a couple more wraps just to ensure that those crazy legs are all over the place. And we're going to whip finish. One, two, three, four, just like that. If you're really concerned about some of the crazier legs, you can certainly trim them off. It's not the end of the world. Like I said, I normally only use, especially these colors, I really like to use them for stock trout. Stock trout really like them. But there you have it. There is your chartreuse mop fly.